pounds. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, this is Carlos. Okay, so um, basically, what I'm trying to do today is um, I'm trying to hack uh, this um, headset. I just got it from Walmart. It's a Logitech um, headset H111 um, stereo. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do, since uh, I'm not sure, but some of you know me already, and basically, what I'm trying to do is trying to hack the microphone option. Why? Because I actually fly drones as well. I um, I saw the mm, a lot of of you a lot of people having actually having a an issue uh, trying to actually connect this guy the mono I don't know if you can see it the mono um, port uh, to the computer so when you connect it basically what it's supposed to do is to allow you to use um, a Devo Seven or an S a Spectrum, um, uh, you know, a transmitter is just not working on the on the laptops. Uh, that is my conclusion. And not all the laptops. If you have a laptop that actually has um, the um, microphone option and the input option or output option separate, you're you're fine. You don't need to really watch this video unless you want to. Um, so basically what i'm going to do i want to show you slowly because i don't want you i don't want you to get bored for me talking too much um so the, basically um since we have a two two speakers to listen to whatever right and then we have the microphone this is what we need because on this option is separate from the independent speakers so from here i'm going to cut the microphone and then I'm going to solder um, like an input where this guy can fit. You can buy those at Walmart, uh, not at Walmart, at Radio Shack. Uh, if you don't really want to spend the money and go and buy it to, and go through the hassle and go to Radio Shack and buy it, uh, you can just cut the wire from here, cut it, and then just solder this to the microphone. You gotta remove the microphone and then just sort this to this and then connect it to your Devo 7 or your Spectrum uh, transmitter and it technically it should work I haven't done it yet so this is the hack I'm trying to do if it works I'll make sure I'll let you guys know so, so stay tuned this is the Devo 7 uh, this is the one I use for my Wokera Runner T50 Advance uh, which I lost two days ago uh, I would never find it I just realized that um, sad story <laughs> now this one is uh, the Spectrum DX7 I actually this one um, I haven't used it whatsoever it's still brand new this way I still have the box looks right there um, my goggles to do FPV the goggle 2 uh, Okay, so anyways, going back to the hack, if uh, you don't really have uh, money at the moment or you want to save some money, what you can do is um, try to use this adapter, um, I don't know if you recognize it, but this is the adapter you will use, um, and maybe they don't use it anymore, but I still have it, when you go in the airplane, they give you this one for free. Or you paid five bucks or something to use um, to use it to listen, uh, you know, what whatever you're watching on the airplane. Um, so you can use this one. Uh, the only thing you have to do is solder cables over here, one over here, and the other one over here, and then you can plug the other cable over here, which is this one. You can just plug it to this end like this. Oh, one moment, please, because I only. I don't have a tripod at the moment, so so see. You will hook it up this one. You will uh, have to like uh, sort of some cables here and here. You will have to like you say um, 
sandpaper or scratch it just a little bit deep enough to make sure the solder actually works uh, the solder iron and then you have to pretty much remove the microphone carefully though don't because you don't need to break it you just want to remove first of all you need to remove the screw over here then you have to remove the microphone and solder this part with a extension cable another cable over here this is where it gets a little weird because this is only a hack just in case you know you having the same issue uh, like me that's what I, you will use uh, then the other option this it looks familiar right okay so this one is from an older computer I still have the sound card and all those things so I actually just need this one so I'm going to use this one to do my hack so I'm gonna solder some cables let me see if I can get them uh, get this thing right so you can see it okay so see how many little legs does it have and you're gonna be like whoa so how do I know which one it is so this is what you do one moment you connect it to the one end with a mono cable make sure it's all the way in and again I'm use, using one hand and then see the other side what you would do you would have to short it meaning you have to put something um, to make sure it works so let me show you And again, I'm using only one hand, okay, so please bear with me. I'm going to pause it and then I'll come back, okay? Okay, so I'm back. So what you need now is a multimeter with a continuity option. So make sure, so when you do this, you, you hear that? It's going to beep. If yours doesn't beep, it's okay. As soon as you see these numbers going like that. That means you have a continuity on the other side. So this is what you do. You start testing the legs, so which one to find the correct one. So in my case, I already know which one it is because I already tested it out. So I put the positive or negative on the other side, and um, the other one, and one on top and one on the bottom, because there's too many little legs. Uh, let me see if I can get it. Okay, so. I go here, put the positive on the one side, see if I can get it with one hand. Yeah, you hear that? Ah, it's gone. See? So I know now that between this, I don't know if you can see this leg, and the this between this one, this one, and this one, I have continuity, meaning that I'm gonna use one cable on one side and the other one on the other side, and that's going to be pretty much my my positive or negative or whatever. So you put one over here and one over here from the microphone from this guy, okay, to this guy. If you using one of these, see? Okay. So let's do it. I'm gonna put pictures, so it looks better. Sorry, I'm using, I don't have a tripod right now, so I'm gonna be using only one hand. Okay, one moment, and I make sure I come back. And if everything works, I make sure I put everything. So. You can actually use your remote or your transmitter on your laptop. It doesn't matter if it's going to be Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10. It's going to work no matter what because you don't need any drivers. Okay, you only need the, the one program, which I don't remember the name right now, but I, I show it to you. One moment. Okay. So, uh, also, let me see if I can get the focus to work. Okay. 
Um, okay, so see this little speaker. Okay, this is the microphone. This is what we need to uh, remove from here. See the two solder parts over here, the solder points. We need to remove it, and then that's the one I was telling you about. You're going to get another cable, another piece of cable with with two different colors, which is which is better. So you know what are you doing? In this case, you can get something like this. I got too many wires right now. I'm only gonna use two. You can use red and black or green and white or whatever colors you wanna mix. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna use, I guess, uh, red and black, okay? And then um, I'm gonna do this so I can solder um, the other part, which is right here. Um, let me see. Okay, having the little alligator holder right here. So I'm gonna solder one here and the other one over here. See, it's one, two, three. So I'm gonna solder one here and the other one right here uh, with the red cables. And then that one, once it's uh, uh, solder, I'm going to use some of the shrink tubes so it, it is protected. Then I'm gonna solder that part to this guy, which is the microphone. Then that microphone with this headset, I'm going to connect it with this guy to the to the laptop. Once I hook it up to the laptop, I'm going to turn it on my Devo 7 or my um, this guy, the Spectrum. So it should work with either one. Okay. So um, all right, let me. Let me see how it goes. All right, let's continue this. Once I'm done, I'll make sure uh, you see. I'm gonna put a lot of pictures. I'm going to be as um, clear as possible. If you didn't understand um, anything or a, a part of the video, please just let me know on the comments uh, so I can probably do another video explaining this better. And I'm going to make sure I try to do this video as short as possible or as detailed as possible. Okay, so you guys don't get confused because I think maybe I'm confusing you. Uh, but it's really simple, believe me. It is, it's really, really simple. You don't need to know anything. Okay. One moment. Okay. So, this is what we did. So the two wires, and here is an explanation. Pin uh, one and two, you don't touch anything. Pin um, three and four, pretty much. I put it as a one and two, so you guys uh, understand it better. But we the the two on the top, pretty much you don't just ignore them. Okay, you don't have to do nothing. And then pin again, pin one and two on the bottom. Those are the ones you need. And then with the color as a reference, red, pin one red, black, pin two, pin two black, and then both of them on the bottom, meaning this is the, the end, this is the mono audio, which is, let me get it really quick, this guy right here, so that's gonna be our reference, see, the mono audio, this is uh, the one that's going to be connected uh, right here, this guy and these two ends are going to be connected to the microphone which is this guy right here okay it will make sense once you see it connected okay because I don't I don't plan it, I don't plan to use this this head, headset because I mean I have a Bluetooth headset and all that stuff but for the purpose of the, this video I bought it uh, so a lot of people can use it since I saw online that there was a lot of people having this type of issues so we people that like to fly drones or airplanes helicopters you know RC stuff we can actually use our remotes on the laptop to do um you know to use actually the um, the emulator so you don't have to break your stuff like I did 
um, so you can be trained more and be better at it. It's not the same as the real life training, but you get to get the muscle memory on your fingers using these uh, devices. Uh, okay, stay tuned. Thank you.